Hi, I'm Erin Day and I love humans. Yuck. Anyway, welcome to my imperfect life. Imperfect Erin. Dear diary, so this is just a mini vlog of a young Abuja babe relocating to Lagos. You guys, I was excited at first and then reality set in that I'm going to leave this place. I grew up in Abuja, stayed in Abuja my whole life, though I went to school in Southwest, but then, I mean, I'm going to leave this same city. See how fragile it is, you guys. I'm going to leave this same city to go hustle. Oh, goodness. My trip to the airport was 30 kilometers and I got there in 36 minutes. That's Abuja for you. It can never be Lagos. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just landed at the Murtala Mohammed International Airport, Ikeja, Lagos. And right about time, this is 20 minutes past the hour of 1 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, now this is why I say Lagos is a hustling state. Because tell me why the road is blocked on a Thursday afternoon. This is past 2 p.m. I've spent one hour on the road and I'm just going from Ikeja to Ojodu. Because why are there cars everywhere in the afternoon? Aren't you people supposed to be in the office? This was the second day, so I set out to go apartment hunting. And this man, this man here, ran away with my 4,000 euro. Second day in Lagos, and they're scamming me. You poor, I got home and I cried. Anyway, today was a whole journey on its own. I left the house past 11 a.m. to the island to go for my apartment hunting. I felt it was going to be easy. You guys, I got to the island past 1 p.m. <laughs> Can you see the traffic on that other lane? It's bloody in Lagos. <laughs> hey guys so I actually look my worst my skin is really going through it now i am in my friend's house in lagos so i'm in happy rent's house and i actually have to stay here for a few more days i was thinking i could i would have gotten my apartment by today basically so i feel the form i'm like ready to pay and they're like they're still reviewing the form currently they're saying they're saying no apartment is ready yet for now so they're still preparing they're like it's ready by next week you guys I actually have an event to attend on thursday it's a mavens event mavens is celebrating international women's day and i've been invited the fact i'm still smiling you guys i've cried this morning you know i'm a cry baby i've cried this morning the issue i have with looking for apartment niggas i've actually not gone to see other apartments because i don't feel so well so i don't have the time to go around most of the apartments i have been i've seen presently I don't have an interest for it. I need a studio apartment. I need that apartment in Lekki. I was told I can't get such in Lekki this one. I don't know why. And I have some agents telling me, oh, you need about 2.83 million naira for total package. And I'm like, okay, let's even agree that that's how much I need for a total package. Service so department, basically, just to move in. Even if I have to get like bed, curtains or anything i don't have to suffer for basic amenities, light, water, it's gas and cooking facilities already in place ac i've checked three apartments so far and only one have actually set my taste like literally i'm, re I'm ready to settle even if i have to go below my standard not to an extreme extent like, why am i in lagos i'm in lagos to work i need an apartment that would make hustling a bit easy for me today is 29 so we are going out again for house on last time i told you guys I spent nine hours on the road and just spent two hours in a location in case you're wondering what happened the last time i went for house hunting this is it you guys i left 11 i told you guys i got there one past 1 30 a.m and i only spent an hour 30 minutes there i started heading back to the mainland by 3 and you guys i got to the mainland 8 p.m 8 p.m from 3 p.m to 8 p.m six fucking good hours this was me ranting and complaining to my partner and the fact that my family wanted me to stay on the mainland i must have my business is on the island so i'll be coming from the mainland to the island every fucking day i just told them people want to kill me you want me to die before my time because imagine spending nine hours in traffic to a place you just have to be in for two hours is that not death when i are going earlier this is nine hopefully god be with us bye Amen. guys this was my first time taking down for in lagos because my friend was like no way we were going to spend so much on an adventure that would not the end that was just waste of money so i decided to take public transport and this was also a test of my strong girlism yes she has to be the strong girl in lagos because lagos is not for the faint-hearted at all so we headed out in search of an apartment and yep we came back with no good news you guys i was tired frustrated but i needed to keep moving 
when you see a Lagos party, you know it's a Lagos party. Miss my matter, with NSC, my right now, the I don't see. Smell up the wind, shiny boots. Baby girl, why you cry? Be a this was the 4th of april still no hope of an apartment yet and i keep spending money so this is an event i had to attend shout out to my manager miss tenny she's always hooking me up with gigs you know life must continue work must go on whether you're happy or not anyway i delivered as usual and i met some of your fave Bro, everybody slay. One thing I've noticed in this life is we may all be going through a lot, but we still have to come out smiling. Take me as an example. So be nice to someone today. Hi guys, so it's three weeks in Lagos already and shout out to my friend's family for taking care of me in Lagos at the meantime. I was telling a friend this distance, she thought I was exaggerating. You guys, I went to an apartment to inspect. Fortunately, one of my followers just rented the flat there, and this was what she had to see the next day. She got my number and she texted me the next morning. You guys, they had just been in that apartment for only two weeks and they are passing through a lot. That is how bad and inhabitable these houses are. I'm not even bothered anymore. Like, I'm not. I've stressed and I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to come out and create my content. So, I'm here. With Abike Sugar. <laughs> with Abike, it was craziness. Felt like all my worries went away. I was just happy. And guess what? The first house I checked called me back. But wait, before that. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Bro. <laughs> Bro. 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 And I made the house payment after four weeks, and this was my second time in the house. This day I went for cleaning and did some measuring and all sorts. Yeah. <laughs> First day, because the next tomorrow will be the fourth week I've been in Lagos and it's been crazy. I feel drenched. <laughs> My skin has been showing me like lots of shaggy bands up. Decided to get skincare products. Today is moving day and I am excited. As usual, stuck in Lagos traffic. It was morning time, so it was bound to happen. For you guys, I really can't wait to get done with all of this. All of this, all the whole stress and all. So I got to the apartment and first of all, I had breakfast because I was hungry and starving from moving and taking, carrying stuff. But my stuff were not much. Basically just little clothing I brought to Lagos and some curtains to fix and that was just it. <laughs> I drop video if you know if you don't want to know you